In this video, we're reviewing how to effectively answer these frequently asked F1 visa questions. Can you please introduce yourself? What course are you planning to study in the US? Do you have any friends or any relatives that live in the United States? Hey, Green Card Easy viewers. Are you excited about studying in the United States but need help preparing for your upcoming F1 visa interview? It can be nerve wracking, but don't worry, we've made it easy. We're sharing the key points you need to include in your answers to convince the visa officers to give you your F1 visa. Let's dive into frequently asked questions. Can you please introduce yourself? Let's review how to answer this question effectively in your F1 visa interview. To do that, we need to understand the intent behind the question. You will likely get this question at the beginning of your F1 visa interview. We classify this as a soft opener. The visa officers typically get straight to the point by asking why you want a visa. Instead, if the visa officers ask, can you please introduce yourself? They are likely building up to that question. You should take advantage of this question to set a positive tone for your interview. There are a few things we recommend you do to set yourself up for success. Smile. Greet the visa officer unless you've done it already. A simple good morning officer or good afternoon officer is sufficient. Include your full name in your answer. State your program and university name and share the reason for your visit. Remember to keep it short and simple and don't forget to smile. An excellent answer could sound like this. Good morning, officer. My name is Manish Mehta. I've been accepted to the Master of Science in Computer Science program at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm here for my F1 visa interview. By sharing these critical pieces of information, You've provided the visa officer with the background information they seek. You've also positioned yourself well for them to ask you questions about your program and keep the conversation on track. There you have it. How to effectively answer the question. Can you please introduce yourself? By the way, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We post updates and different content there. So take advantage of it. Now let's get back to the remaining questions. What course are you planning to study in the US? When the visa officers ask you this question in your F1 visa interview, they most likely want to verify the information in your Form DS-160 and I-20. However, this is also an excellent opportunity to express your passion and enthusiasm and drive positivity. Positive energy is contagious and looked upon favorably. If you answer this question without enthusiasm, you may fail to motivate the visa officer. Visa officers will grant visas to applicants who want to put the knowledge and experience gained to drive a long-term vision. If you're not excited about it, they won't be either to issue you a visa. This is also an opportunity to share your long-term goals and the intent to depart the US upon completing your studies. Just make sure it sounds natural and not forced. Here's an example. I'm excited to study the Master of Computer Science at the University of Texas at Dallas. It will greatly increase my chances of being hired as a lead AI engineer position in a multinational company in Mumbai. Another one could sound like this. I look forward to earning my Master in Business Administration at MIT Sloan. Remember that the program name on your I-20 will likely not match your actual program or course name. That's okay. The name of your I-20 matches the classification of instructional programs or CIP code, which is given by the National Center for Educational Statistics. While answering the visa officer, use the name on your university's website. Do any of your friends or relatives live in the United States? In your F1 visa interview, the visa officers may ask, do any of your friends or relatives live in the United States? Sometimes they may ask it differently. Do you have any family members that live in the US? This question throws off a lot of people. 
Why? Because the definition of family member is somewhat subjective. Some may think of immediate family members as parents, children, siblings, whereas others may think of a distant cousin as family. Regardless, it's essential to understand the intent behind the question. Remember, the visa officers are ultimately looking for you to convince them that you will depart the U.S. after completing your studies. If you spend too much time on this question, the visa officer may think you have weak ties to your home country. The idea is to keep it short. Let's tackle friends and relatives separately. Only mention your nearest and dearest friends in the U.S. No need to include acquaintances or casual friends. Where relatives are concerned, you should consider your immediate family members and your parents' siblings and their children as relatives. If you have a cousin, uncle, or an aunt sponsoring you who lives in the U.S., remember to mention them. Don't include any distant cousins or close family friends in the relatives' category. Don't let this question make you nervous. Many applicants have friends or relatives living in the U.S., and it doesn't negatively affect them as long as they answer effectively. Here are what some answers sound like. I don't have any friends or family in the U.S. I have a couple of acquaintances that live in the U.S. I'm not close to them, though. Yes, my best friend studies in the U.S. Yes, my aunt lives in the U.S. We frequently get asked the question, my older sibling is a U.S. citizen or works on an H-1B visa. Will it affect my chances of getting a visa? Visa officers do not penalize you for it. Answer truthfully and you'll be okay. We're going to do a series of frequently asked F1 visa questions. Subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss them. If you didn't know, we've launched our finance series. Be sure to watch those videos also. A strong understanding of the U.S. financial systems is critical to succeeding in the U.S. So start now. If you have any questions or need further guidance, feel free to reach out for more information on our website at greencardeasy.com slash discussions. My name is Gaurav Musle and from all of us at Green Card Easy, thanks for watching.